Tainos Quinn just launched their best vision language model, Quinn 3VL. The best part is that they've open sourced the largest version, which is Quinn 3VL, 235 billion total parameters and 22 billion active parameters. In this video, we're going to break down everything about Quinn 3VL and we are also going to live test the model to understand how good the model is and if it holds true, whatever the team is claiming it to be. The model that they've open sourced, the instruct version of the same model even exceeds Gemini 2.5 Pro on a lot of different visual perception benchmark. In my opinion, I usually consider Gemini 2.5 Pro as the best model. This is like off the bat, this is one of the most comprehensive benchmarks that you have ever seen. So they have compared Quint 3 VL with Gemini 2.5 Pro, GPT-5, Claude Opus 4.1 and other models that they believe as the best model and they have not left out any benchmark. I don't think there is any cherry picking here and I would love to first congratulate the Quent team for being open, not just in releasing the model but also giving the benchmark where you know all the models are compared. We have seen so many companies releasing models, they don't even compare it with Quen, which is one of the best models. So I'm really, really glad that they've gone all through this. Talking specifically about this particular model, Quen 3 VL, uh, so the objective, the main objective of this particular thing is to improve the model's understanding across different dimensions. So they want the model to have better understanding of text, they want the model to have better perception of the visual context, better reasoning, and also they want the model to have longer context and better understanding of spatial relationships. So if you have to give videos, if you want to build agents on top of it, this model can do much better than every other model that is available. Couple of key highlights of the model, the model can be used as a visual agent for GUI. Uh, so you can use the model to go click a particular button in a mobile interface or like laptop interface. The model has got a much better understanding. So if you have uploaded an image and then asking it some question that is not just simply OCR, the model can give you an answer. The model has got better visual coding. So you can upload a napkin drawing and then ask it to convert into HTML, CSS, JavaScript, including turn the design mockup into draw.io, the model can do right now. And the model also has got better spatial understanding. So that means the model has got better 2D grounding. So it has a very good understanding of how the relative distance between two points in an image and all sort of things. The model is doing a pretty good job, including with longer context which is up to 256,000 context length. And like I said, the model has got multilingual OCR support. There are a lot of different languages that they are covering. At this point, they have 39 languages of coverage in the test data set. And then you can see all the different languages, like including Indian languages like Hindi, you've got Arabic, you've got Urdu. These are not Romanized scriptures, but still the model has got an understanding of these scriptures. I'm not going to bore you with the benchmarks. I'm going to let you go through the benchmarks yourself. But overall, the model is much better than um, all the other proprietary models on a lot of different benchmarks. There are a couple of benchmarks where you would see either Claude Opus 4 or Gemini 2.5 uh, Pro are better than this model. But overall, if you see this model for it being open source model, if you want to access the model, the model is already available on hugging face you can just go download the model it is available under apache 2.0 license the instruct model and the thinking model both are available for you to use but i'm going to use the model within quen's ecosystem which is chat.quen.ai so if you go there and then you can select quen 3 vl 235 a 22 billion parameter model this is their strongest vision language model the first one is i've uploaded this image and then asked the model do you find anything that is a non that is not a non-living thing. So this is again, I'm doing double negatives here. The emphasis is for it to find out that there is a plant, which is quite obvious for the human, but you know, the question is, can the AI find out here? So after I did it, it just immediately came back to me with the response is there is at least one thing in the image that is not a non-living thing. And that thing is the small plant in the glass vase on top of the turntable. table. So which is good. Why a plant is a living organism? That's a great example, honestly, like, like the way it explains, it's a really good thing. Next, we are going to understand the visual grounding of the model. So I've uploaded a picture and asked it how many people are waiting in the queue. So for this, I'm going to enable the thinking and then see how the model is going to do. So if you see there is a barista, we don't want the model to understand that barista is also waiting in the queue. So barista is not in the queue. And we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten humans are waiting in the queue other than the barista. So we want to see if the model can figure out. So it, you can see that it is starting to understand, it is thinking. 
and it counted till nine and then it is like oh wait is there another one let me check the image and then it is checking the image it's counting again and 10th okay so it's trying to count the 10th person i think at this point until this point it is still figuring out there is there is only nine people but it could not figure out the 10th one in the next task i've uploaded an image and then i've asked it to convert it to markdown so this is a table as you can see here we've got some metals we've got some reaction and then we have got some electrode potential which is also an integer which has got positive and negative values and the equation also has you know the the a plus e minus and all sort of thing so now i've converted it to markdown and i've used a markdown renderer to copy uh, you know render and see how it is and it is exactly like how we have given the input image and it has done like a very pristine conversion of the table into markdown which is a really critical job like if you're dealing with a lot of let's say legacy data a lot of this data could be in pdf and to have an ocr that is like this accurate is quite exciting the next one i want to test is i've uploaded a menu card and i've asked it to figure out like what is the cost of the andhra meals in the menu card it's, it's like a very famous restaurant from bangalore and when I uploaded it, as you can see here, it is not a straightforward answer. It has to go understand like the menu item and then it has to look at the respective pricing. And then it says based on the menu you provided from Nagarjuna on the style, here are the prices for Andhra meals. Andhra Bojanam listed under meals and biryani. This is price 255 and it is marked as not shareable. So whatever I expected it to give me, it exactly gave me because it has the understanding about the text. It has understanding about what does it mean? And it also knows that respective price of the particular text. I would love to test the model more and make a separate video altogether. But for now, this is a great model. Go ahead and then start using it on chat.quen.ai. And once again, a huge appreciation for the Quen team to open source the model, release a detailed benchmark report, and also to be the flag bearer of open source. Everybody loves Quen. And thank you so much, Quen team. See you in another video. Happy prompting.